So in this question, we're going to look at how to find values of an inverse function on our calculator. So let's look at this question that comes up on the Bolster Academy website. It says a farmer makes hay bales to feed his livestock. The hay bales are always two meters long and have a density of approximately 80 kilograms per meter cubed. The farmer needs to decide what the radius r in centimeters of each hay bale should be. The larger the radius he chooses, the heavier the hay bale will be. The mass m in kilograms of each hay bale is given by the function below where the radius r is in centimeters. So our function is m of r is equal to 160 pi r squared all over 10,000, where r has to be greater than 50. The question asks, calculate m inverse of 450 and round off your answer to the nearest centimeter. So the key to this question is realizing that m inverse of 450 in order to solve that, we just need to solve the equation m of r equals 450. So why is that? Let's think about that for a second. m is taking the input r and outputting 450. So the inverse function, the function that undoes what m just did, will take 450 as an input and it will output r, the original thing that we put into m. So the main takeaway here is that if we want to get values of our inverse function, we just need to solve equations of the original function. So here, if we're looking for m inverse of 450, that's the exact same thing as solving the original function m equal to 450. And that's something that's easily done on our calculator. So we just go into Scratchpad, we hit Menu, we hit our Algebra option number three, and we hit numerical solve option number one. So up pops n solve. And what we need to do here is we just need to type in the equation in order to solve it. So we're going to put in 160 times pi down the bottom left here, hit enter, times r squared. We want to divide this entire thing by 10,000. So control and divide to get a fraction notation. Right arrow, and then we want to say that this is equal to 450. Now once we have our equation in we need to hit a comma and we need to tell the calculator what variable we want to solve for. So we want to solve for r. Hit enter and there's my answer 94.6175. So this answer agrees with what we're expecting from the question. We're expecting r to be greater than 50 and we have an answer of 94.6175. Now the only other thing we're asked to do in the question is to round to the nearest centimeter. So in this case, the answer would be 95 centimeters.